Hello once again. We're going to be dealing with the fuel injectors themselves. Based upon the conditions from the sensors, the computer makes a determination. It makes a decision. How much fuel should I put into the cylinders? That's based upon the sensor's inputs, the temperature of the air, how much air. Crankshaft sensor, camshaft sensors, all these things are involved. Coolant temperature sensor, all these things are involved. Is the car cold? Is it January? Is it 10 degrees? Did I just start the car? Or is it or is it July in Florida and it is 95 degrees out and this car already is hot? It has to dec decide that. Why? The fuel, in fuel injectors, as you see, coils are the symbols for them, coils. And number one, before we get to that point, how many fuel injectors here do you see? You see six. How many cylinders do you think there are? Six. How many spark plugs do you think there are? Six. Why? This is a V6. Everything is six. If you would have a V8, how many injectors would you have? Eight. Now, starting with that, based upon those decisions, if there's more air, more fuel, it will hold this open longer. The question now you're going to have, how do you hold it open? Well, you see this? Power chain control module. <clears throat> the famous, famous computer board. He's controlling us again. He controlled the fuel pump. He controls the starter motor. He's controlling now the fuel injector. He's controlling everything. These are computerized fuel injection cars. Make no mistake about it. The troubleshooting methods from 25 years ago is does not apply today. These are new techniques they have to come up with. Now, this is the ground. This is not a physical ground. When you see something inside a module, you know right away the first thing come to your mind computer has control over something i don't know what but it's controlling something you look at this and you see it's connected to this that means it's, it's controlling a fuel injector that's the first thing that should come to your mind he's going to ground this you see this is ground ground he's going to toggle this ground on and off on and off on and off that in turn will make the fuel injector go on and off either longer or shorter time the pulse width called the duty cycle related to that the signal usually it goes down to ground be pulled down to ground however i just drew it like this so maybe you can understand a little better it's called a duty cycle these represent the on time the low the the off time even though actually it's reversed because this is a ground not a positive but still i think you'll understand the concept i'm trying to convey the longer this pulse is the more time on for the for the for the fuel injector the shorter this is the shorter the time that it's on based upon what based upon whatever the sensors give information uh based upon air based upon temperature based upon a lot of low conditions vacuum it the computer makes a decision this is longer on than this one this is shorter time than this one this is shorter time than this one this is longer time than this one and this is shorter time than this one so therefore it flip-flops in milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds, whatever it is. That's how it decides. With the B-plus going over here, see the B-plus, the pink wire, B-plus, B-plus, B-plus from here? It just feeds it 12 volts. The rest of it, the ground, is turned on and off by the computer. He decides. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, my channel is Joe, Electronic Somatics for Auto. My other way is Automotive Electronic Schematics for Joseph. Please subscribe to that channel. I'm trying to get more views for that one. Uh, give me some likes, please. And we'll go on to the next video.